What up, peeps and peepettes? Morbtron back today with more Destiny 2, and today is June 26th, 2018, and that means it's a Tuesday, and that means it's a Destiny 2 reset day, and the faction rally has returned this week already, and just as a reminder, we have one more faction rally in Season 3, so expect that next one to be fairly soon as well, uh, if this pattern keeps up. We're gonna check out you know, we're going to check out all the factions. None of the gear has changed. I just want to let you all know that all of the rewards are the same. So that way everybody has a chance to get all of them. Even the win weapons are the same, which I don't really agree with. I think that was kind of lazy because everybody can get the win weapons no matter what. Um, so I think the win weapons should have changed. But, you know, you have that. So we're just going to check out all these weapons again real quick here just to go over them again. Now this is a rapid-fire frame sniper rifle uh, from Dead Orbit. It has opening shot, accurized rounds, or flared magwell, and a long zoom or short zoom scope. It's a rapid-fire frame sniper rifle. They're not going to be super popular unless you go in, in the crucible and go for like double body shot kills. Um, that's basically all these things are useful for. They're good for practicing snipes as well because you have a lot of ammo. So it's a good practice sniper, I guess, um, but really not that great. Um, you get a ship as well yeah, at rank 20, and then the Agamid. Now, this thing is actually a really good hand cannon. It's a 110 RPM hand cannon with Rampage. Um, I'm, I won't be going with Dead Orbit again. Uh, or I won't be going with Dead Orbit this week. I haven't yet in Season 3. Um, I'll be going with New Mo or not New Monarchy. Did that last time. Going with Future War Cult, because I want the Sunshot Catalyst. But... Uh, I cannot wait to get my hands on this one as well. I mean, it's a 110 with Rampage. It's the only one out there with it. So having a 110 RPM hand cannon and two or three stacks of Rampage, even one stack of Rampage in the Crucible is going to be mean. And then it has alloy mag, so faster reloads and the mag is empty or armor piercing rounds. So the rounds will penetrate targets and slightly increases the weapon's range. And it has, you know, regular crossfire and hit mark or steady hand. Personally, I like steady hand over the other two because of the stability and handling. Uh, but you might want the increased range. You know, crossfire HDS gives you the most range. Might be a good thing to go with uh, since stability and handling aren't going to be that big of an issue on 110s anyway. So kind of personal preference there. Um, but we're going to go check out Future War Cult. And see what Lakshimi has for us. All right, like I said, I will be pledging for future war call, but I'm gonna go check out new monarchy stuff before I do that. Uh, now the vision sidearm, I'm really hoping that future war call takes the win this week because I really want to play with this. Um, it is a sidearm, it's an energy sidearm that's a pulse frame, so it does a three round burst, and it's got kill clip. Um, mean, mean little sidearm. And look at the stability on this thing. It's super, super stable. And you have Accurized Rounds or Appended Mag. Personally, I'd be going with Accurized Rounds myself. And then, you, you know, you have your choice of sights. Um, I'd probably be going with Short Spec SAS just for the stability and handling on a sidearm. Uh, just, you know, make it more stable. Make the uh, aim down sights a little bit quicker. Because that's, you know, we're going to be using uh, a sidearm. That's, that's what I would go for anyway. And we have the all-important Sunshot Catalyst, which that's what I'm going for this week. Uh, and then we have, let's see here, the Magnum Shepherd, which is a 390 RPM kinetic pulse rifle that has high impact reserves. So rounds at the end of the magazine deal more damage. It starts ramping up at half 50% magazine capacity, and it ramps up from there. So the last couple bursts do the most damage. But it's not a perk that really is popular in Destiny 2. Wasn't really even that popular in Destiny 1. It's just kind of like, it, it does like a couple more damage per bullet. It's not that noticeable. Um, in PvE, it is. In the Crucible, not really. Unless somebody, somebody's really low resilience or right on the edge of a resilience bump up and how much, you know, damage they have to take before they die. Um, and then we have Extended Mag or Alloy Mag. Um, eh, it, it, I'd probably go with Alloy Mag just because I don't like slow reload on weapons. And... Uh, not only does Extended Mag make the reload take longer, but Alloy Mag makes the reload faster when the mag is empty. 
Then we have a long zoom and a short zoom scope. The Red Dot 2 MOA is a very, very nice scope. Bumps up the handling quite a bit. Uh, and then we have a Sparrow. Looks pretty neat. And we have a rocket launcher. Now, unfortunately, this rocket launcher is kind of worthless because it doesn't have cluster bombs. Uh, it, it's got snapshot sights, which is completely useless on a rocket launcher, in my opinion, because it's not very often where you actually aim a rocket launcher. You don't aim down sights with them. Um, but yeah, there we go. And then the sunshot catalyst, and of course we have the knucklehead radar ornament, but not... I mean, it's knucklehead radar. It's good in some situations, <laughs> but uh, now we're going to go check out um, what new monarchy has to offer for us. Uh, now, the nightfall this week is Sabathun's Song, which gives you the auto rifle duty bound. It is my favorite kinetic auto rifle by far. Um, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below for the review for duty bound. Um, now, the first time Sabathun Song came around, I had to grind my face off for this auto rifle, and boy, is it worth it. It is absolutely amazing so make sure that if you do not have the duty bound if you are a fan of kinetic autos this one is amazing you do not want to miss out on the opportunity to get duty bound because who knows when we're going to get that nightfall again but let's see what my homeboy executor hideo has for us this week now we have the biden or beaden handler um pretty good smg um uh, again i'll leave my review in the link down in the description down below it's got ambitious assassin which isn't all that great in pvp and pve it can be though it does have high caliber rounds which does kind of make this smg pretty nasty in the crucible even if it does have ambitious assassin having that extra flinch and increased range on an smg just makes it pretty good now does it beat out antiope as far as the meta is concerned no but uh it's a nice little low-key meta type weapon to use uh, and then also you get a ship I like this style of ship you get that at rank 20 I believe um, and then we have the Gian Gian 7 rifle it is a, another 390 energy pulse rifle it's got Zen moment and ricochet rounds, I prefer ricochet rounds over appended mag. That's got your choice of scopes on it. Now, I did a review on this thing, and this thing is an absolute laser beam on PC. I'm not sure how it is on console, but on PC, it is a laser beam of bullets, and it is amazing to use in the Crucible. Again, link in the description down below to this pulse rifle. I have not reviewed the other... Um, weapons from the other factions obviously because last time i pledged to new monarchy and uh now i'm pledging to future war cult so and then we have the broadsword launcher which again does not have cluster bombs so this is a wind weapon for new monarchy i honestly i don't want this weapon but i really doubt that new monarchy will take it it's either going to be dead orbit or it's going to be future war cult this week um it's new monarchy just the Sweet Business Catalyst is nice if you like using Sweet Business, but it's not all that great either. Um, I'll also leave the link down in the description for my Sweet Business Catalyst review. Um, but let's see what Benedict has for us this week. No Alright, we've got Eater of Worlds Helm. We have regular Leviathan Gloves, Spire of Stars Chest, Spire of Stars Boots regular, or I'm sorry, Eater of Worlds, Cloak, and the Ghost Primus Auto Rifle, which has Under Pressure, so improves stability and accuracy as the magazine gets lower, High Impact Reserves, or Ambitious Assassin. Personally, if you're in PvP, use High Impact Reserves. If you're in PvE, use the Ambitious Assassin. If you're on Ad Clear, if you're doing like a boss fight, uh, definitely High Impact Reserves are the better option there. Yeah, it's, a, it's an okay auto. Um, if you're going for an auto rifle this week and a 600 auto rifle at that, get the duty bound. Do the Sabathun Song Nightfall. Now, the flashpoint this week is on Nessus. 
Uh, so if you're looking for Cade 6 treasure maps, uh, link will also be in the description down below for my Cade 6 treasure map video, which will come out before this video as well. So you could just go to my previous video or you can click the link in the description. But the last thing we're going to go look at, we're going to look at what Tess has for us. And another thing I wanted to mention too, um, Doubles is back this week as a Crucible playlist, a special playlist. So if you're interested in that, there you be. Um, let's see what we got here. We have Zeus-like physique, which is a flex that I I actually like. I enjoy this move. It's, it's fun to flex on people sometimes. We have the Confused Emote, if you're a fan of memes from 2008. Maybe older. Maybe it might be might be younger than that, but who knows? We have the Wave Chaser Sparrow, if you like that style of Sparrow. We have Nebula Bloom, if you like a brick with legs on it as a ship. Or we have the Infinite Visage, if you like... I don't even know what that looks like. It, it's ugly, in my opinion. We have the Palm of Gold Shell, which is a Warmind Shell. If you want to look like you sat on your ghost, there you go. We have the Helmet for the... Uh, Tess Everest set, or the Eververse set for Season 3, so if you're looking for the helmet, there you go, you can buy it. And as far as the ornament goes for Hunters this week, you can get the ornament for the Dragon's Shadow, if you want it to look different. I'm not a fan of that exotic anyway, but eh. And we have this ornament again, now this ornament was in the uh, Prismatic Matrix last week, and now you can just buy it outright if you didn't get it. It is for the Sleeper Simulant and turns it from like a black and gold weapon to a white and red weapon. Looks pretty neato burrito. Now we have Void Effects or we have AI Com Rasputin Reboot. If you want that Transmat effect. If you want to look rasputin -y, there you be. We have Midnight Talons as a shader. We have Noble Constant Red. Suros Modular Shine, which is basically just a shiny version of Noble Constant Red. A little bit, little bit different, but just basically just, this is a matte finish, this is a shiny finish. And we have Tarnished Copper as well. And then we have the regular things there. And again, I have everything in this Prismatic Matrix. We have the Vespu Laser Sparrow. One of my favorite Sparrow designs, actually, in uh, in the game so far. Very rasputin -y. We have the war-painted hunter ornament for the Foe Tracers, if you like that sort of thing. Warlock class item for Tess Everset. Titan class item for Tess Everset. The Synced Dance. Another good one, in my opinion. And we have the Opulent Clap. If you want to pretend that you are um, Emperor Callus, Fiery... I'm not going to pronounce that. If you want that Sparrow, there you go. <laughs> the Andes Peak Hunter. If you like this design of Sparrow, you can go for it. Another one of these ugly design ships. Don't even what that looks like. And another... Oops, I sat on my ghost. Ghost Shell. Um, that is it. I don't think I forgot to mention anything. If you liked this sort of thing, uh, please hit that like button. It does help me out a great deal. Thank you all so very much for the support. And I don't just say that to say that. Watching just my channel grow and the reactions of my videos does make my day. Um, it's the best part of my day, every day, is watching you guys all react to my stuff. So, thank you. If you want to see more of my content, hit that subscribe button for me. Don't forget to have a good day and have a good week. And I'll catch you all next time. Let's <laughs> go.